all the girls. I've got to warn them. I've just learned that we're going to have to fight for our lives. Theirs decided to blow up the yacht with all of us aboard. Come on. How are you? Mrs. Meyer. May I? How do you do? I would think of choosing this very place for my honeymoon. What absolute rot muck. If Consuelo hears that I was here and with you, then this time it's sure she's gonna kill me. <laughs> anyway, I followed your instructions. Come on. How are you, fellas? <laughs> What's going on? Neil? Go on and out, John. How does it happen you asked us to come so suddenly? I mean, what's going on? If it's for a championship, yeah, we're all you know, for it. Have we organized a tournament? Well, what's cooking, Neil? Come on and tell us. Give yeah. us a go, man. Uh, I'll send word to you all at the Hotel Continental. When everything is ready, all right? Bye. 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 Hey, Bye. Hey, Bye. Hey, Bye. Hey, Bye. All right. Is everything ready? Yes, the long-range Geiger counter is installed under the front seat. There. You see it? Yes. And the rugs. What have you found out? From Tetuan, they're shipped in lead crates. Then they're picked up here by an agency, which transports them along Highway 7. Where does Highway 7 go? It goes to Istanbul, over 2,000 miles away. The longest road in the world. Then we're all set. Oh, by the way, uh, don't you want to come along with us? You know that I want to, but there's Consuelo. Her wedding's been spoiled, but you know what? I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> We can't worry about that right now. We've got to find Thanatos' headquarters. Now, the radioactive rugs were made at the factory. Where were they sent? I really never knew that, but once I heard something about a place near Munich. Let's take a look in that shed. Beginning the countdown. Begin countdown. 120 seconds. The warning signal. It's Connery. He's found the secret entrance. Such a curious man. I'll satisfy his curiosity. Let him in. 
I want to speak with London, please. It's terribly urgent. London in England? How do you expect to do On that? On the telephone. Please, help me. It's a matter of life or death. You can try. I don't know if you'll get through. Thank you. 31. 30 seconds. Magnetic 29. intensity at concentration level. 28. 27. VA relay gyroscopici 3-7. Magnetic wave ready to function. Hello, London. Extension 142. I want to speak with Commander Cunningham immediately. It's terribly urgent. Never mind who I am. Hurry! Five, four, three, two. A castle on a hill. But how far from Munich? One. The headquarters are 20 miles from... <laughs> Hello, hello. Hello. We've been cut off. I'm wondering... I'm happy to have you as my guest again. I'll show you how the operation works on our anti-magnetic equipment. Quite neat, don't you think? And that's the last favor I can do you. I only allowed you to live because I wanted you to witness my success. I've got what I wanted without your help. Take him away. No good. The magnetic wave has blocked it. Aren't you a champion archer, too? No, sorry about that. I'm a pretty good fighter, though, and I guess that can be useful, too.
at your own game, Doctor. morning at nine. We'll be meeting at George's villa. The captain wants me there. Now, don't tell me that George used his lipstick. <laughs> Hardly. I uh, ran into Stephanie as I was leaving. Why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't think of it. I thought what I did tell you was more important. Not to me. Helen, you know Steffi kisses everyone. Now, if a girlfriend wants to kiss you, there's nothing you can do about it. Particularly if the girlfriend is Stephanie. I just hope Thursday morning's meeting with the mysterious sailor isn't a complete fabrication. Oh, come on. <laughs> Smile. A female Othello, that's what you are. Helen Harris, the most jealous woman in the world. Ciao, baby. Where are you going? To the paper. To pretend to earn my salary. Pat. What do you, um... What do you say I give up some of my fabulous earnings for about a half hour or an hour, huh? An hour? Mm-hmm. An hour and a half? Two. <sighs> Quello 
è sospetto. Molto sospetto. Bella questa anfora romana. Devo fotografarla? No, non mi interessa. Scusi, mi fa un autografo. E perché mai? Eh, colleziono gli autografi delle belle signore. Lei permette. Prego, madame. Vuole acquistare delle cartoline? D'ombra. E sono bellissime, guardi. Cartoline illustrate? <ride> Andiamo poi. Sì, certo. Sulla volta altri affreschi che si ritiene risalgano al VI secolo. Sono stati recentemente restaurati. I lavoratari sono in ferro valuto, usati anticamente con cerni a loro. È suo? No. È suo? Mi lasci in pace, per favore. È suo? Peccato. È un pezzo unico al mondo. Quanto vale? È difficile dirlo. Io colleziono gioielli. E alla mia collezione manca il Littleton Barry. Voglio acquistarlo. Lei sta scherzando, madame. No, affatto. Lei mi dica qual è il suo prezzo e io le darò il doppio. Scusi, non è in vendita. Non è ancora stato stimato. Non sappiamo chi sia il legittimo proprietario. Quando lo sapremo, lo consegneremo a chi di diritto. 500.000 dollari. Madame. Posso firmarle un assegno in bianco? Lei stesso metterà la cifra che vuole. È inutile, madame. Il braccialetto. Billy, mi hanno rubato il braccialetto. Non si preoccupi, madame. Avvertirò subito la polizia. Lo ritroverà.